Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently issued a reminder to users of Windows 10 version 20H2, which is also known as the October 2020 feature update. that rolled out in October uh, in 2020 that the end of support is fast and soon approaching, which is in approximately three months time, and that will be on the 10th of May this year, 2022. Now, the end of support means that um, on the 10th of May, you will no longer receive, that will be the last time you receive updates. And after that, you will not receive any more cumulative updates to that version of Windows, which means you will have end of support and that operating system version 20H2 will no longer be supported by Microsoft. Now, for whatever reason, you don't want to or cannot upgrade to Windows 11, um, and you are still running version 20H2, you could find that Microsoft will soon forcibly deliver the most recent feature update, which is 21H2, which rolled out in November of last year, 2021, to your system. And that means you've got around about three months or so uh, before you reach end of support. Now, the easiest way to find out what version of Windows 10 you are running, if you are unaware, is to go to your search. And in the search, just type in WinVer, and this will bring up the version and build of Windows 10 that you are running. Now, yeah, we can see um, I'm running version 21H2, OS build 19044.1526, which is the latest stable version of the Windows 10 operating system. Now, if you are on 20H2, you will see version 20H2, OS build 19042, which means your end of support will uh, be reached in approximately three months time. And to see if you have the update or Microsoft has rolled it out to you. If you don't know and are unaware, just head to your settings, update and security. And it will, um, if it isn't an optional update, if you are not seeing version 21H2 as an optional update at, the, at this current stage, then as mentioned soon, Microsoft will force that out to your system where you will um, basically have to update to that latest stable version version 21H2. Now, if we just head over to that announcement, uh, Windows 10 version 20H2 end of servicing, yeah, we can see that um, yeah, these are the different versions um, that will reach the, the end of their life cycle on the 10th of May this year, 2022. And that's Windows 10 home version 20H2, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Pro Education, and Windows 10 Pro for workstations. Those are all version 20H2. And as mentioned, that end of uh, support where Microsoft says these editions will no longer receive security updates after the 10th of May this year. And um, also there's just a footnote here that uh, Windows 10 version 20H2 for enterprise education um, will reach end of servicing on May the 9th. 2023 so you've still got a little while to go and then if we just go to the latest version yeah you will see the windows 10 release information so if you do upgrade to windows 10 uh, version 21 h2 yeah you will see um that it rolled out in on the 16th of november last year and its end of servicing and that's for Home Pro Education and Pro for Workstations is on the 13th of June, 2023. So that's still quite some time to go before you will be uh, moved on to another version of Windows 10. And then if you're running Enterprise and Education, you've got about another year after that before reaching end of support. So this was just a quick reminder to um, uh, give you a heads up that if you are still on 20H2, that on the 10th of May, um, uh, the end of support, end of life is fast approaching, which means you will no longer get any updates to your system. So um, it's advised to upgrade to that latest feature update version 21H2. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.